Now, I'm serious. If you're looking for a fantastic Christmas gift for somebody who really is important to you, I would suggest that you contact the Electronic Workshop as soon as you can. Items, but I think that a lot of them have uh, reserves on them. By now, everybody should have registered and got a paddle if you want to bid and buy something. If you're a seller, I oh, hope all your equipment is marked with some minimum. If you have a minimum price for something, it's got to be with your market on the tag and label everything. So when I start the auction, we can keep moving along. We have refreshments in the back. We have soda, we have water, coffee. Uh, we have uh, cheeseburgers and donuts and stuff like that. All right, and we'll get started in... I can't see. Nine minutes. Nine minutes, thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is, thank you for pointing that out to me. Is it, can you put that, is that for a still? No, it's, that's what it is, okay. Okay, so this is a TS-830. No tubes, uh, but it does work when it had tubes. Um, we're looking for an opening uh, a bid if anybody's interested at 150. 150 on the on the TS. We have a one bid, 115 is the bidder. Do we have another bid at 160? 150? 160, anybody? 150 once. 160, 119 is the sell, uh, bidder. 160, 170, 170. 180, 180, 190, 190, 2, 
some 60. 250 for the gentleman that's behind you. 260. 260, 270. 280 to you, sir. 270, 270 once, 280. 290, 290. He says finish. 290 once, 290 twice, sold. It's been tested and works fine. It needs two of the batteries in it. No, it needs two 9-volt batteries. It needs two 9-volt batteries to operate properly. It has the system on the side. Peak reading. Peak reading or regular. Okay, can I get an opening bid of 150 on the meter? I have 150 in the front. 160? 150 in the front looking for 160? 150 once, 150 twice, sold, 150 HF rig, 100 watts, tested, and this is the one that has just got, been on the workbench, tested, and just serviced, works 100%. And, and those of you that know the 735, there's an issue with the little drawer. This one has, it has the little door with it, and it's working. And, and like and the power cable. Okay, can I get an opening bid of two and a quarter? Somebody interested in two and a quarter on the 735? How about 200? I have 200 over here. 210? Anybody want to offer 210? 210? I have 210 in the front. 220? 210 in the front. 220 here. 230? 230 to you, 230 in the front. 240, you're out, sir. 230 once, 230 twice, sold. Okay, three alpha. Okay, three alpha. Uh, original packaging, it's uh, from a smoke free environment, it includes extras. Color laser printed full manual, the nifty manual, which is a small one. Also, radio today guide by Andrew Barron. It's in excellent condition, as uh, stated by the seller, and we will start with a minimum bid of $800. Icon 7300. Very good, very nice. HF radio in the box with all the paperwork and everything. Do we have an opening bid, anybody? Can I get an opening bid of six? Anybody want to bid six? I have six. Will you go 650? 25. 650 behind you. I got 650. <laughs> uh, where's the owner? So we take, no, he wants seven. No, he wants seven. How much, what would be the minimum? 760. 760, he says. Uh, so the minimum is eight, not seven. Oh, did you? Oh, so my mistake. All right, he's looking for a minimum of 760. We have a bit of 760 right there. Anybody 770? Anybody want to advance on that bit of 760? 760 once, twice, sold, bitter number. 211760. Audio generator. Right. How about 25 for the ICO audio generator? I got 20. Anybody interested in 25? Can you hold it up? There we go. Does it work, sir? Yeah, he says yes. No guarantees, but he tested it and worked and turned, uh, turned on. Okay, 25. Do I have an uh, opening bid of 25? How about 20? I have 20 over there. 25? Anybody? We take 20, sir. All right, we have 20 once, twice, sold. Fire 117. Yes. Hey, there you go. Right.
Item 2E. Okay, fire 117? Yes. Fire number is not found, but make a note for this. 117. $20. Okay, this is a heat kit, visual, or rural signal tracer. And it's got a magic eye on it, which the two by itself is worth money. Yeah, five bucks. This is 2E. Okay, that's Yes, that one. Okay, how about 25? Is it too good? Yeah. He says yes. It's a little noisy, but two, three, one. Okay, we have 25. How about 30? 25 looking for 30. 30 over here. 35 in the back. 40. 35 looking for 40. 35 looking for 40. 35 once, twice, sold. Bruce, your number? Two, three, one. The OM? The other one needed a 22.4 volt battery. This one needs a 30 volt battery. <laughs> but the beautiful thing is that the minimum bid that he will accept is $8. But I'll, I'll be nice and I'll say five. Do we have an, I got an opening bid of five. How about an eight now? Will somebody advance on eight? Going five, we got one, I got eight in the back. I got 10, I got 10 over there. 10, 15, 10, no, 12, no, no. All right, 10 in the back, 10 once, twice, sold one, one, and he is along with the thing you know of? It says it's in excellent condition and there's no minimum bid. Okay, I know, I, I just, I looked it up. I'm sorry. The uh, power supplies in the box. The power supplies in the box. I was talking to KJI earlier, and he says he'll sell me a new one for $199. Okay. So we're looking for an opening bid of 50. I got 50. How about 55? Is that all right with you, sir? Oh, yeah. There's no minimum bid. No minimum bid. So I got 50 over here looking for 55. 50 once I I got I got 55 on you sir 55 in the back look we got 60 in the front 65 65 in the back 70 75 to you sir 75 80 85 90 95 we got 100 105 110 115 120 130 130 to you, Bruce. 130 in the front. I got 130 with Bruce and 2XP in the front. Now you're out. 130 once, twice, sold. $130 to two, three, one. That's what it says, big coil. I think that's the one on the top of the crate. No, it says big ass coil. Oh, they forgot the ass over here. Uh, I'm reading it. AM160, big ass coil. That was taken from some radio station somewhere. BAC, big ass coil. All right, we look, he's looking for a minimum of $100. Oh, okay, because I had no minimum here. So it, he says that big ass coil is the next Oh, he condition. changed his mind. He says it's too big to carry home. He said he'll take 50. Don't believe the other big ass. Yeah. Sign. That came from a local radio station. This, this it has local is this sign. Okay. <laughs> so it looks familiar. Anybody for fifty? Any, anybody interested in for fifty or making a good offer? Anybody want to make an offer? No. The scrap metal value alone has <laughs> got one bucks. On that copper, yeah, it's probably thirty dollars worth of I copper on it. For 20. Yeah, exactly. No. That he won't do. <laughs> 30. 30, he'll do. 30? He'll do 30. Come on, somebody's got to want a big ass coil. <laughs> who, who said 20 before? No? Okay, no sale. No sale. I had this old man, and uh, he used to sit around, and he was a, a true radio DX nut. Now, he didn't listen to radio shows. That doesn't mean to say he sat down and listened to the A&P Gypsies. 
He did not listen to Bing Crosby or any of this stuff. He was an a, he was a, a DX nut. Now, what is a DX nut? Do you, you know what the word DX means, any of you out there? Well, the word DX means distant reception. It's an international code sign like QST, QSL, QSO, QRS. 